Hi Leo, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And I do ask everybody, please check the description box below. There's a ton of information there, links, personal reading information, just a ton of stuff. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. Before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to the channel, is very much appreciated, so thank you, thank you. Um, and I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you for all your support, it really means a lot to me. And thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is for Leo, second half of August. So, let's see what we have for Leo. Just about at the end of our birthday, almost at the end of August. Summer's almost over, what, one more month maybe? Where's time going, just flying by? So this deck here is an, or um, yes, it is an oracle deck, but it's a zodiac deck. So we may get a sign, planet, or um, element energy. So whatever comes out here, but if you're not, um, if it doesn't uh, pertain to you, that's totally fine. It's sort of like a little extra bonus. So uh, please keep that in mind and the rest of the reading may be for you. So we'll just see what kind of energy we get and see if that is relevant for you or not. Wow, that was very quick, Cancer. So you could have um, Cancer in your chart or somebody you know could have Cancer heavily in their chart in some way. So we'll see. So this is general, so you know, if you can though fit it into a love situation, then I say please do that if you, um, that resonates for you in that way, but I will read it as a general reading. <clears throat> okay, for Leo, let's get your main energy, your main energy for the end of, all the decks are listed below if you are interested in that, and they all have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on off camera, there is a little more shuffling on camera, so please be patient with that. All right, Leo, Leo, Leo. Let's see what we got for Leo, second half of August. What is their main energy like? What is the main message, main energy like? There we go. Quick, quick today. Dance, Brolga, I think is how you say it. And you say eight is a number of action. Um, and movement, taking action and movement here and dance. So that's like, you know, be positive, uh, be in a positive mindset, high vibration, just enjoy life, dance like nobody's looking. Um, let's see what the message is here. Maybe there's a message in here uh, for somebody. Spontaneous movement is uh, inspired by steady rhythmic sound and a receptive atmosphere is an ancient yet simple way of opening oneself up to the productive cycles of Mother Earth and the nurturing energies of the universe. Uh, let's see. You are being shown that dance can be your bridge to other worlds. You are being reminded that sacred dance holds the potential to reconnect you to the source and the sacredness of being nurtured within your consciousness. Through dance, you can experience the very unity of the universe. So it's all about, you know, just raising your vibration. You feel sad, low, dance. Uh, maybe some of you like to dance, enjoy dancing. I love dancing. Uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a dancer, but that didn't happen. Um, so dance, 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 dance. All right, so let's see what the bottom of the deck says here. Two birds, wow. Uh, birds represent uh, messages and freedom, so I don't know if that's relevant for anybody. But wow, we have 8 and 18. Wow. Confidence. So, Buster, confidence. So, you know, be strong, be confident. 18, which equals 9, which is about being independent, secure, um, and that sort of energy. So you're feeling confident, it's a need to be confident, and just to raise your vibration, I feel, at the end of August. Let's see what's going on. Or maybe it's just going to be a really, really happy time for you, causing for dance and celebrations of some kind. Maybe you're going to ceremonies. Um, 
things like that where there's dancing involved. Maybe you are a dancer. I don't know, but feeling very confident or there's a need for that. All right, so let's see what's going on for Leo. What's going on for Leo, second half of August? What is this energy about for Leo? Second half of August, Spirit, please. I have one or two cards for Leo. Why are they in this energy? Why are they in this? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I think that was the only one that flipped over. Yep. So, <laughs> I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Eight, dance. I said there's a need to, you know, raise your vibration. And I also stated that eight here is about movement, communication, travel. And what do we get now? Eight of wands, wands, fire, your energy, Leo Sagittarius. Eight of wands, communication. Sometimes can be passionate communication, can be exciting, can be uh, communication over the internet, uh, moving, traveling, taking action. So I feel like you're taking, you know, maybe taking action, going in a new direction, you're feeling very confident and very happy, and that's why you have this dance energy here. So you could be like communicating or taking action towards something or something's coming to you. I don't know, we'll see. What else is around you? What other energy? The hangman and the knight of cups. So I feel like this is Pisces, and now this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And here's the cancer. So I feel like whatever this is for you, I mean, this could be a uh, romantic connection or it could be something else. It could be a job, career, um, something where things were hung up and tied. There was no movement, no movement forward, no action, um, no communication coming. But now, period of no communication ends and now you have this very fast communication coming in and it could be the knight of cups energy here water energy of someone coming in uh very uh caring nurturing loving um action forward so it could be like if you've been waiting um for online communication or something about a job or just anything here's the news coming in and somebody could either be telling you in person, uh, maybe you've been waiting and waiting here for this news to come in, whatever it is for you, and now here it is coming in. And I feel like you're very, very confident that things are going to go in your favor and feeling very happy because you're dancing. So, I don't know. So, somebody coming in finally with the communication you've been waiting for because you got two cards of communication here. So let's see what your actual situation is. So we have the nine of wands. So you were fighting for this. Here's your energy, fire. Fighting for this. Or you've been through, you know, fighting and fighting and fighting and just going to keep on fighting. Justice. So Libra, so getting your justice, whether this is something in the Justice Department in some way, shape, or form. It could be documents. It could be contracts. It could be legal contracts. It could be, you know signing contracts for a job position or you know maybe I mean you could be a realtor maybe you're waiting for someone to say okay I want this and signing the paperwork I mean it could be anything we are waiting for news communication coming in here and you're fighting and fighting for this whatever it is for you and now justice comes in so balancing out the scales things going in your favor truth and clarity signing of documents, something even maybe in the legal system. I mean, what it's very general, so whatever it is for you. Whatever you've been waiting on, whatever uh, news you've been waiting on here that you've been fighting for is coming in. And with the justice here, it's probably going to go in your favor. So let's see what the next card is. Eight of Pentacles. So this could have to do with work. Maybe you work on commission, so you, you, know, you work very hard and you fight to get the sale or you fight to um, you know move up in the cooperation or get the raise or whatever it is for you now the eight of pentacles energy is you working very hard mastering your craft and because of that things here with the justice go in your favor and you fight for it you fight you have a lot of determined determination you're courageous and brave with the confidence there and I do see justice right in the middle of your spread so you know things 
balancing out for you and justice working in your favor because you are a hard worker and you fight and you fight and you fight. So let's see. Let's see what your advice is now. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap, Leo. Two tens here. Your advice is, <laughs> I mean, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Cups is a happy home and family. Love, emotions are overflowing. Feeling very uh, loving and nurturing, caring and giving. Ten of Pentacles is total abundance, wealth, prosperity. Um, you have everything you need. You don't have to worry. You have the home, the family, the security. The finances are in order. And um, you have plenty saved in the bank. I mean, so this is your advice is to stay in that confident mindset of knowing things will be fine. You, you will have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap, Leo. Wow. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome may be. The Queen of Swords. So, so whether, whether you're vying for like the top position in a firm or something like that or waiting to become part, because the Queen of Swords, like the King, Queen, Swords, that suit, it's all about mind, clarity, truth, uh, communication um, things like in the legal system and that sort of energy so if you're waiting on word to become a partner in a legal firm or an organization or something of that nature even um, armed forces or um, something like that or not even armed forces but um, anything to do with the legal aspect you know, this is the Queen of Swords, somebody who is in high power, who is a anything, a police officer, a lawyer, a, whatever judge, whatever it is for you, I feel like you will be in that top position. You will have that position that you've been waiting to hear on. And it could be something in the justice system. You are, and maybe you, you know, just completed school with the Eight of Pentacles here, can be energy working very hard, also, you know, learning school, college, fighting, you know, very determination, determined uh, energy, and having fulfillment in every way here and being this queen of swords. So, wow, Leo, being on top, being queen of whatever it is you're uh, waiting for here, you will get it here because you've got the queen of swords and justice. So let's get more clarity here, ace of cups. <laughs> Wow, brand new beginning. I mean, this could be, it could be a love situation where it's been on hold and you're waiting to hear word or for coming in. You, you fought and worked hard for this uh, connection and now with justice is finally coming in and now you have your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles standing in truth and clarity and um, being very open and honest and clear-minded. Or it's career-wise it could be anything here but here's a brand new beginning usually this is love but this could be a very spiritual fulfilling time for you in every way feeling like I'm finally living out my life purpose I'm in total peace harmony happiness contentment with my life my new beginning moving forward divinely guided here feeling like very um, compassionate and loving everything overflowing kind of energy Oh my God, Leo, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, back to back, and then you have you have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, back to back. Holy crap, Leo. So, and I'm a Leo, I'm kind of excited here. So, Ace of Pentacles, so there's a new beginning again, stability, growth, expansion, building on a firm foundation to prosperity and wealth and abundance. Wow. So not only being fulfilled emotionally in every single way also being uh, financially set and having abundance and growth that firm foundation and moving forward to from starting from the ace and all the way to the ten here in both wow let's see what else here the four of swords so you know this is taking a break as you have the hangman here so this is just waiting taking a break uh, air energy here see we had water earth air and we go to all the signs here. So, yep, Four of Swords, uh, thinking, contemplating, you know, maybe waiting, as with the hangman here, like I said, waiting for this news to come in, this communication to come in about either a relationship, a job position, 
or it could be buying a house. I mean, whatever you're waiting on here, it's coming in for you and you will have what you want here as far as I can see, but there's gonna be a period of waiting with the Four Swords energy and the Hangman. So let's see what else. Knight of Swords, again, two knights now. So the Knight of Swords, so, you know, coming in quickly. So I think when the news comes in, it's gonna come in probably when you don't expect it and be like a surprise. And it may just come rushing into you in some way, shape or form, like unexpectedly. And it's gonna like, just like knock you like for a loop and be like, what? And cause you see this person here is kind of reckless when they rush in. So it could be somebody physically delivering this news to you, just like out of the blue and just rushing in and like taking you aback in some way. That makes sense for you. Maybe they're just so excited for you. They just come like rushing in and like it kind of scares you. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna mean to do that, but it's just the energy of the way they come in and deliver this news to you. All right, let's see what else here. So we have the three pentacles to earth energy here. So this is collaboration, teamwork, working together, compromise, learning and growing. So yeah, working together with other people. So there's three, so it could be three people, maybe working, you know, as a team, maybe whatever you're doing, you'll be working as a team with more than one person. It'll be two or three, four, you know, more of you than just one or two. You know, working as a team, growing, learning, expanding, um, teaching, you know, everything, all aspects of work. That is work energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Swords, so ear energy. So again, you know, you'll be going into a much better place here with the Six of Swords energy. I mean, you could be physically moving. I mean, the first card out was about movement. And so wasn't this one eight movement so you could be physically moving for this um the six of swords is about sailing across the water more calmer peaceful place so whatever direction you're going in you will find uh much more peace har harmony balance page of one so again now here's the message coming in very fi fiery passionate message exciting message of a new endeavor a new project or something here that you're waiting on here is the actual message so we have the message and then we have two energies of the messenger coming in and again i think they're going to rush in unexpectedly and like shock you not meaning to do that but it's coming from a loving genuine place with the knight of cups so they're going to be very passionate with this message when they come in to tell you because that one's a very passionate it's fire energy it's your energy leo sag aries and now we have the page of pentacles so now we have another page of more communication this is the tangible offer coming in um the news you've been waiting for that's uh steady it's firm steady uh i can't speak i feel like you're very very much anxiously awaiting this news <laughs> very stable sturdy and grounded offer it's very tangible it's um, it's a trusted offer here that you can invest in and um, something that's going to be long term for you. Very successful with the Page of Pentacles energy. Seven of Wands. So again, you know, being defensive on guard, Leo, your energy, Leo, Sag, Air. So I definitely feel like with the seven and nine, you're really fighting really hard for this, whatever it is you want here. Five of Pentacles. Again, I feel with the Four of Swords and the Hangman of that period of waiting, 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 you're wondering, will this come in my favor or will I be left out in the cold and abandoned and unhappy? You know, what if it doesn't come in? I think that's just like worry, worrying if it may not come in. Yeah, worrying it might be the end of the situation here, that it may not come in for you and just feeling very um, cold about it for a time as you wait. But then here's Six of Cups, so I feel like water energy, this is nostalgia, memories, um, maybe something you've wanted to do since childhood, since the Six of Cups does speak about childhood memories, things from your childhood. Maybe you could be even moving back home for this situation here. So yeah, the moon energy, Cancer Pisces. So I feel like you know you don't know all the facts yet. You're still waiting for this news to come in. Come in. You're feeling kind of disillusioned, like not knowing what the heck's going on. But um, 
I do feel like it's coming in for you because the first card out was action, communication, moving, traveling, and then you have dance here. So I think you're going to be very, very happy. You're very confident. Or there's a need to remain confident during this time of waiting for this news to come in, whatever it is for you, because it's going to lead you to two brand new aces of beginnings of love, compassion, fulfillment, and um, abundance, wealth, prosperity, from the ace all the way to the ten. And you will be the queen of swords energy, very uh, smart, analytical, um, wise, standing in your power, truth, clarity, not afraid to cut away things no longer serving you, speaking, you know, your mind. Okay, so you could be doing something involving speaking, um, whatever this is you're waiting for here. All right, so let's get some extra messages and guidance for you. What do we have spirit for Leo, the second half of August? What is the me what are the messages and guidance that Leo needs to hear right now for the second half of August? Whoa, that's three. It's too many. It's too many. One or two at the most. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. For Leo. Okay, that one wanted to stick. It says, seek. The power of Spirit is this, exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of Spirit, including you. We are all one with Spirit and always will be connected to one another. So again, uh, seek, I just take that as an energy of uh, really seeking what you want here, really going after it confidently. All right, let's see if there's any other, any other messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo? You know what they say, what, what you are seeking is also seeking you, I think is the phrase there. So, all right, any other messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo? Second half of August Spirit, please. Thank you so much. We have two. So we have self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So don't self-sabotage yourself. Don't overthink this. Um, don't get too nervous and anxious and stressed out as you wait for this news to come in. So don't get in a negative mind space and self-sabotage yourself when there's no need to do that. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So, and I... I just think, take a moment. I just think that's you waiting for the news to come in as uh, as the de decisions being made here about you, whatever you're waiting for. And also when the news comes in, just take a moment to, to like let it sink in and before you take action. See what's on the bottom of the deck, a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So if this is for some of you who, um, whose mother is in the afterworld, this is probably a message for you as you're going through this and if you're thinking of her often um, and you wish she was there to give you advice, support um, on your journey here, just know that she's always by your side. And I don't know if you have a, um, a charm from her that maybe a ruby or something like that, or maybe her favorite flower was a white or yellow rose or some sort of white or yellow flower. Maybe you wrote little letters to each other, you know, all the time too. And maybe you have her picture hanging or by your bedside, your nightstand, your uh, dresser or something like that. Um, or maybe you could have this set up just like this on your, um, you know, your, your table or something like that as a little, um, you know, just as a little memoriam to her. So that may be a message for some people. Okay, Leo, I just, I do see your new beginnings coming in. I see things going in your favor. I see two brand new beginnings going in the right direction. Total fulfillment and happiness and joy in every way. Stable, secure, um, 
prosperity, abundance, all to come. You will be in that position or whatever, whatever you're vying for, whatever you're waiting for, I feel is coming to you. You just have to um, be patient there and just kind of wait for this news to come in. Um, stay confident and you'll be dancing when you, it, all, it all comes in. I think you'll be very happy with uh, the outcome here. Leo, this didn't resonate for you. Please check the description box below for all past readings. I do consider them timeless, even though there is a date associated to them, so maybe something there will resonate for you. And if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love, so don't miss out on that. And um, best of luck to you in uh, this situation, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.